Squatch Senior back with another update on the milling machine project. Got my handles sized for the shaft. Had to make the bores a little bigger here. I still have to get these fit to here. There's notches here that I got to mill out in this area. So it will be able to slide on here, lock in to the cross feed. Got both of them to do. Got all my parts have been ordered uh, for getting this thing into operation. Still waiting for them to come. Got uh, my handles made. Got them cleaned up. Get a little paint on them so they don't rust up on me again. And Squatch253 put his skills to work here and made a cover for the top of this thing. Pretty nice job. Fits really good. Doesn't look bad. And uh, we'll give a look at the top we climb up there and see what that looks like and I'll show you what we did up there okay on top we had to make a hole for the column to come up through and another hole right here for the draw bar that holds the uh, cutter holders and uh, collets and stuff in so got that size looking good I'll take this thing off and we'll have a look at the inside On the inside, what we did here is for the top, we just folded over tabs. Every so often, we drill a hole in the tab and then just took and spot welded to the sides. Also made four stops, two on each side. And what that's going to do is them stops come down, hit the bottom part of the cover, it keeps from sliding down anymore. Still have to get uh, a few clamps, hold down clamps, fold over tight to hold this cover on but right now uh, getting set up I'm gonna these parts I got into bare metal we're gonna get some paint on them Squatch Senior here back with another update on the milling machine got the top cover painted fitted in place turned out pretty nice I do use a semi flat black on that the flat black is a little too dull and the gloss is too bright I got the handles painted, all installed, all ready to go. Should work just fine. So anyway, a few other things uh, to go through here yet, but uh, I think right now I got it where I can get it into use. Here's a purchase I just did. I got a bunch of uh, end mill drivers. I got some projects to do. A uh, selection of end mills. They're all 3 8 shank. I had to get the drivers. They had a set of six which I thought would probably give me everything I'd be able to do with this. And I have the key seat cutter. That is for a project coming up. So new purchase, I can uh, use these. I can start playing around with this thing and just see what it'll do. Here are a few accessories I've picked up in the past for this milling machine in the hopes of someday getting it going. Uh, here is a Craftsman's machining vise. Got it all bolted down to the table right now. Pretty nice shape. It uh, works good. I don't look like it's had a whole awful lot of abuse to it. It does angle for different milling angles and whatever you need it to, to do for you. So here's another thing. It's a uh, South Bend rotary table that I picked up. I've got it all cleaned. This one does have a little abuse to it. You can see someone is kind of milled into the table here. But for the most part, should work okay. And another type of work table I've got here. What I do like about this, it's got all the degrees on it and stuff to uh, get different angles. And that uh, might be setting up for a project I'm doing here in the future. And here's a couple projects I got lined up to do. Uh, a couple handles I need to get set up to go on the end of here. And what I need to do with that is I got a mill out a lug system so when the handle goes on it matches that there so what I'll probably do is mounting one of these up in the rotary table I got here get her clamped down and I'll just keep milling and when this slides into that it should slide into this right here another thing I got going is the oil pump shaft for the M I've got the key seat cutter here to do the key seat right there so what I'll probably do first I'll do a little bit of playing around with a 
a shaft that I don't really need. I got some different key seat cutters too. So anyway, between the end mills for doing the project on the handles and the key seat cutter, I should be able to start having some fun with this thing. So stay tuned. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll see if I can do a little short video on some of my milling as it's going. So thanks for watching, guys. Hey there, everybody. Kind of a chopped up video, I know. Different guy talking here, but I wanted to show you something. Came out here to the shop tonight, and I noticed that Senior had uh, done a little bit more work on the milling machine. And we have the fresh chips in there to prove it. He got both of his uh, end handles done on the table. Take a look at this one. And that is the uh, way that he milled them so that they will in engage with those slots back there. And he also added this um, piece of rubber belting in here to absorb, I shouldn't say absorb, I should say block any of the chips, the swarf, what have you, from getting down into the, uh, the ways and the gibbs down there. So he pretty much has the old milling machine ready to use and ready to work, I think. So just wanted to throw that on the end. Thanks for watching, everybody. Going to call this a video. Please tune in again.